What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at it. Happy Super Bowl Day. Super excited to check that out. It's going to be a great Super Bowl, I think. Uh, I'd have to go with uh, Tom Brady, though, and those Bucks. So hopefully they can pull it out. Uh, I would just like to see Tom Brady win another Super Bowl and just clear all doubt that he is the greatest of all time. Because people said that maybe it was because of Belichick. But if Tom Brady can win, that just takes out all out to all of his haters out there so that's kind of really what i want to see um i think patrick mahomes will have his time too i got him in the back right now but i just think it'll be a good story um but anyways for cards today for our weekend recap super cool day i've been i've been kind of out of it lately kind of out of cards because of retail not being able to find it it's um it's a definitely a hard time in the hobby especially if you're a collector like me Sometimes you might get frustrated because people buy all the cards up whenever they go. They follow the distributors. It's really hard to get your hands on some good retail. So I wanted to go out today and find some really good stuff, and I did. And now my energy's picked up on the on sports cards. And let me show you why. Let me show you some great stuff. So I went out to a couple different flea markets. Uh, I went to the Wego Emporium in Wego, New York. They do theirs every the first and third Sunday each month. Um, I picked up some cards there. Then I went out to PJ's and the show place and picked up some really cool packs and uh, some really cool singles too. But I'll just show you off some cards I just got real quick. Uh, so for our pack wise, I got these packs of 1996 uh, basketball. So we're looking for a Kobe, maybe an uh, Iverson, Ray Allen's in the set too. So we got these cards. I think we got about uh, 10 or so. 10 or a little more, maybe maybe 12, but they're really cool, a Real, little weird because they're French, they're French packs, so hopefully you can find some of our big rookies, but they are French, so I mean they're not going to be as expensive as the other ones, but I got these for two bucks, uh, not two bucks, 250 a piece, because I bought a lot, so got some good cards here, so we'll be doing that later this week too, um, single wise, I picked up some, I just organized this a little bit, Picked up some really, really, really cool cards I'm excited to show you. I have them based off price. So let's just take a look at them real quick. So we'll have our stack right here. So we'll go from the most expensive on the bottom to the least expensive on top. So our first card we got, this was uh, 50 cents. We got a uh, Dort Lugens, Lugens Dort, uh, Dort for the Thunder. Uh, I picked up his uh, his premium stock hoops rookie card, but I didn't have this contenders, and he's a good player, so cool card there. Uh, Willie Castro from Topps Heritage, high number. I'm pretty sure it's high number, yep. So I didn't have this card, so that was a nice one for 50 cents. And a Randy Dobnik, nice high number heritage card there. So 50 cents a piece. Next, our rookie card that we got today was a Mike Connolly. <laughs> Connolly. I don't know why I said that word. Mike Con Mike Conley rookie card. Nice Fleer one from 2008. So good player there. Didn't have this one and had a good price tag on it. Next one, we have a Malik Harrison. Um, <laughs> This card has a little story. I was looking at my Mercari listing, someone messaged me about a lot that I posted, and they were like, how much just for the Malik Harrison auto? And I told him that there was a lot of sale. So I might message him back on, and tell him I have another auto if he's looking for this guy. So maybe we can make a deal like that. Next, we have a Marlon Humphrey Prism. Uh, nice little refractor auto right there. Got that for a good steal. Really nice card there. I like to see that. I keep buying his autos, and I don't know why. I just think I think he's a really good player. And this was a really good card. It's a refractor and a really good price, so I picked that one up. So don't be surprised if you see a Humphrey auto get posted on Mercari a couple in a couple of days, eventually at least. But I really like this one. I definitely think this one's going to the PC. Next, I have a rookie auto of Darnell Mooney from this year's Chronicles. 2020 Chronicles right there. Good wide receiver for the Bears. He's not the rookie I'll be looking for for the Bears. It would be that um, their DB that they have. I can't remember his name, but not a bad one. Had a pretty good year. Not one of the best players, but 
worth worth the price tag, I think. Next, we got a nice triple patch relic. Really cool. So this is a rookie card for Nick Chubb, Rashad Penny, and Sony Michelle. Nick Chubb, definitely the biggest biggest name on there. So this is from 2018, so nice rookie card there. I thought the price was awesome for these cards, so I had to pick them up. It's basically like a card show price, but got it at a flea market, so like that one. And I had to pick up this card because he's my boy, uh, Evan Ingram. I have a couple of his autos, but this is a really nice one from Elite. It's in his college uniform. But I thought this was an awesome card. It's one of the first cards I grabbed just because it just looks so beautiful. The auto is so crisp, so nice. I think I have his other auto around somewhere. But beautiful card there, beautiful card. And then I picked up a Justin Herbert rookie auto. Uh, not rookie auto, that would be crazy. Rookie patch from playoffs. So I thought this was a really good card. Really good card, really good deal. Don't have any of his patches. And Justin Herbert just did win. I think did he? Yeah, I think he just won the offensive rookie of the year. So I got this. It's a very nice card there. All these cards were half off, so this was a ten dollar card. So definitely got a really nice deal. It was only like thirty four bucks for the whole lot, and I think I, I'm usually a good customer to this uh, seller. So really cool card there. I like that one. Uh, that was all from the show place in uh, Binghamton, New York. Go definitely go check them out. I'll put their address in the description but definitely there's a they sell really good cards there really nice ones so make sure you go check that guy out uh this next stack is a little vintage little vintage cards gotta throw those in these are from the emporium in a we go and i just I, I didn't buy a lot i think i only spent eight dollars but i still need some vintage and i like to give the guy business so we have a jim johnson halfback so all these were eight dollars so don't even look at the price tag so a nice rookie card there uh, I thought it was in good shape. Has a nice crease in the corner, a little stain there, but cheap. He does some cheap old cards, so it was nice. We have a Herb Adderley rookie card. I think I had this one already, but it was st it was stained, and this one's better. Well, uh, the condition itself is better uh, than my previous one, so I still like this one better. So I'm gonna probably replace it with the other one on Mercari, but still a nice card there. Got a uh, Mike Miller rookie card numbered out of 2,500. So still not a huge name, but kind of cool to see. I like Mike Miller, good shooter. Had a pretty nice career, nothing spectacular, but he contributed. So that was a really cool card there. Next, we have a Dan Ab... Well, this is going to be a hard one. Abra... Abra... Owicks? Abra Owicks? Something like that. Not a really huge card, but a nice little rookie card that I didn't have. And it, it was in a really good condition. The blue background, I always like these cards. I think Larry Zonk, Larry Zonka, had a good rookie card from this year. But I picked this one up. This is nice. Just throw it in the pile. This is probably the better card that I got at Oigo. We got a Dwight Gooden, Doc. This is a rookie of the year card, and it's by uh, Leaf. So it's a nice uh, Leaf version of Donruss. Because regular Donruss have that Donruss logo, but it has the leaf right there. So that's a good looking card. I think I have all, the, I have this set. I have this set, but I didn't have the Donruss. So really cool. Really cool and nice. Next, we got all these cards came from PJ's Flea Market. It's right next to the show place. And I usually don't buy a lot from this, uh, this flea market because they don't have a lot of cards, but. Uh, I guess they're changing that, so they have a lot more card vendors there. Uh, I bought these this stack from there, so we'll open these up later this week. Looking for that Kobe Bryant rookie card. Um, I also picked up some of these grab bags that we're going to be opening up tomorrow. I picked up six of them, so we'll be ripping through those tom uh, not tomorrow, on Tuesday. And I like that it had uh, the premium stock. So I've always had good luck with these cards, with these grab bags. Always have really good hits in the middle. So we'll be opening that up. Hopefully we can get something crazy. Maybe a John Morant, Zion, anyone in between. Really cool. So we'll be opening those up on Tuesday. But from that seller who I bought those grab bags from, I got this Chase Young. He just won uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, this is not shocking whatsoever. I have a couple of his auto. Oh, I have one auto and a couple other patches, but did not have this absolute one. And I thought for eight bucks, it was a really, really, really good deal. So, 
I think his cards are going to keep going up because he's just a defensive beast. So definitely one of the better cards there. These next three. The, those, the cards all before were very nice cards. Don't want to take it that way. But these three right here make my day. They're all unbelievable price. So let's just take a look first. The last card is going to be unbelievable how much it goes for that I got it. I'll tell you the price at the end, but crazy. We have a Prince Amukamara. A nice Prince Amukamara auto from 2011. Not a huge name. Had a good couple of years. Uh, I think he might still be in the league somewhere, but he was on the Giants for a little while for a hot minute. Then I think he went to the Raiders. But really nice, good player there. Didn't have any of his autos, so that was a cool one to pick up. We have a nice Derek Henry rookie patch. Numbered out of 88. This is from 2016, which I'm pretty sure is his rookie year. But really cool card, dual patch there. Huh, super cheap. I got these. I'll tell you how much I got for the whole stack in a second. It was a great deal. But really awesome card. Really awesome Derrick Henry. Did not have any of his his uh, relics. And he's uh, Offensive Player of the Year this year. So that was a cool one to find. Awesome, awesome card. I just love that one really much. I just Unbelievable. And this last card is crazy. Crazy card I found. We found an Alex Caruso Rookie Auto. He, if you don't know anything about basketball cards, Alex Caruso is not easy to find. He doesn't have a lot. He's relatively a no name until he got like a cult following for his putback dunks and his athletic ability. He's just he's like a guy like Taco Fall, um, Alex Caruso. Um, who else would be that in that category? People that like oh Boban. People love these players. They might not be all stars, but they're definitely fan favorites. And Alex Caruso, his cards are not cheap, especially this auto. But I got this whole stack for 25 bucks. All three of these cards were 25 bucks. I just checked this one online. This card's going for like $200. $200 online. It had a price tag of like 150 on it. And he gave it for me. To, he's like, oh, I could do 30 bucks on it. And I go, would you do 25 for the lot? And he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm like, oh, awesome deal. Great, great deal there. I'm definitely going to come back and hopefully get some more cards from him. But unbelievable card. Oh, my, I just can't get over this deal. This restored my hope in the hobby and made me have that excitement back. Just Because you might strike out like five, six, seven times going out to flea markets, but that one time you find something unbelievable, that's going to make you come back. And this card definitely is it for me. So, All right, that is it for today, everybody. Thank you all for watching. This has been A to Z Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.